Okay. Welcome to the Voice of Harrisburg. I'm your host, Will Scoggins, and you've tuned in for another Saturday night of hour, an hour, at least, of pulchritude and despair on uh, Ustream. And uh, I'm coming at you, uh, not really at our regular time, but um, as close as we could get to it. And uh, let me hit you first with a commercial, see how this works. Um, this is a advertisement for my T-shirt, uh, Willie and the Ham Factory T-shirt. It's available at www.levelstate.com. It's a company in Australia. And uh, here it is. Let's see how it works. Okay, that's what the t-shirt looks like. Of course, it'll be on a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt, whatever you order. I think they only have two colors at Label State. Uh, I think the total cost of it with postage and everything is $35. It's a, it's a one of a kind. Um, and we found a company in Australia that would let us uh, have this web space to put the t-shirts on. So uh, I'll uh, flash that up periodically you'll be flashed periodically uh let's try uh willie and the ham factory song here uh beulah land
Okay, uh, let's see that mini set there was, uh, we start off with uh, Willie and the Hand Factory, a song called Beulah Land, followed by the New Bomb Turks, and the song was uh, by Silver Lining. Uh, you, you've uh, tuned into the voice of Harrisburg, and uh, we're back on the air, uh, and uh, we're rocking and rolling here at uh, Headquarters Central. And um, this is the, ooh, what day is this? This is the 7th day of June, 2014. Uh, yesterday was the 70th anniversary of the D-Day invasion. 70 freaking years, man. There's, there were still, still men that were able to go to it. And thank God we had people like that. Uh, not Somebody said one time, I think I read this on the internet. I don't know if it's true or not. Thank God for the people who were willing to go to it and the ones who died too, but just that there was people born alive that were willing to do that. And that was a mighty, mighty, mighty gamble on the on the part of uh, Mr. Eisenhower and Mr. Churchill and Mr. Roosevelt and, and uh and a, co and a cast of thousands, so uh, D-Day always gets me about right here. Well, I can't see, you can't see it right there. Uh, D-Day is pretty uh, fucking cool to me. I'm just glad somebody did it. Um, I'm able to sit here and not uh, howl Hitler and all that junk. And you are too, so uh, let's see. Uh, let's get back into the music with uh, Derek Clegg, and let's see what song here is. Derek Clegg is If We Only Had More Time. My breath is wide and free And when I fall I'll take what is given And if I get nervous So save me a place on a rocket to space I'm in orbit, drifting night So save me a place on a rocket at base We are moving much too slow If only we had more time If only we had more time If only big was time mountain My breath is cold but warm And when I fall I'll take what is given I never feel nervous Because I'm so scared 
So save me a place on a rocket to space I'm in orbit, drifting out So save me a place on a rocket at base We are moving much too slow If only we had more time If only we had more time If only there was time to live That was um, the new Mystical Troubadours with a song called uh, Hollow Rhyme. And before that we heard Derek Clegg with, uh, what was that song? If, if we only had more time. Yeah, I think a lot of us are going to be at that point in our lives. One day we said, well, I wish we had more time. Well, you got time now. You got time to spend with me. And we've added a new uh, part to our um, arsenal here, a new segment to the craziness we boost around here uh, most every Saturday night. Uh, we've got something called Shit Record Covers. And uh, normally what I do is I try to, I try to uh, upload these photos beforehand, but I thought I'd try tonight of just handing them to you. Let's see. This one here is a real doozy. It's called Heart Transplant by two guys who need to get them in a motel room. Uh, uh, what is the name of the album? I can't see it from the back here. Heart Transplant by Tony and Donnie. Uh, Tony and Donnie were apparently out of Atlanta. And we all know what a great gay scene they've got in Atlanta. So I think Tony and Donnie were probably part of that scene and may not have 
really realized it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a shit record cover to boot, and uh, it's mostly bad Christian rock. Is there such a thing as good Christian rock? I don't really know. But Heart Transplant is right there with shit record covers of two guys who definitely <laughs> are sharing a bottle of lube somewhere. Uh, yeah. So um, they have it. There's one of our uh, uh, offerings tonight for shit record covers. Um, shit record covers is actually a group on Facebook. And they post, um, well, they post shitty record covers every t chance we get. Uh, I, I refer you to uh, the group. Uh, I think it's an open group. You can join it if you want. Everybody gets snarky about, uh, you know, covers like that. Most of the time it's covers we find in thrift stores. And uh, we'll have another segment of shit record covers here in a minute. We'll. Uh, I used to have a song by Donnie and Tony and Donnie, I'll have to look on my uh, uh, import my media uh, function and see if I've got Tony and Donnie boiling away on that song. Let's see if I have Tony and Donnie on this CD. No, I'm, he must have got him. They must be on another CD. Uh, but. Uh, We'll try to have Tony and Donnie for you. Maybe something from Heart Attack. Uh, the next time we uh, have, next time we're out, um, I'm gonna try to download something kind of cool right now. Uh, Johnny Barber's Johnny Barber and the Living Deads. Uh, if the computer will uh, play ball with me here. And anyway. Um, Let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll have one more sh one more in this little segment. Shit record covers. Uh, pretty good record here. Now, not necessarily. I'm not necessarily knocking the artist. It's just that the the artist. Just sometimes I think the uh, A and R department uh, at record companies probably used to dictate more to this stuff here. And uh, here's uh, Louis uh, Prima and Keely Smith. It's a pretty good album, really. Uh, Louis Prima and Keely Smith, but uh, kind of a crappy cover, cover don't you think? Uh, Louis and Keely. I mean, here he is with his big mouth open, and she's standing there like uh, the American Gothic. And he, looks, he just looks like he, <laughs> he's been hit in the head with a bag of hammers. I mean... <laughs> You know, I mean, you know, uh, it just looks fucking retarded to me. Uh, but uh, not, you know, Louis Prima was a, Louis and Keeley were in Vegas a lot. And, uh, wow, I'm trying to catch up with myself there. Uh, Louis Prima, of course, did uh, the, the grade eight voice in the Jungle Book. And sung that great song with uh, Phil Harris. Uh, I want to walk like you. And to me, that's the highlight of the movie. Uh, one of the highlights of the movie. That's that's one of Disney. That was back when Disney, when Walt still had his hands. Well, no, that one came out right after he died. So he he had had it. He had had his hand in that one, pretty much. And you can tell when Walt Disney had had his hand in something. I mean, the the the, the qualities. Was so much better then, and I think the Jungle Book was the last one he actually had hands-on uh, work. I know it came out in '7, but uh, he died in '66, so he had worked on it and gotten it down to what he wanted. And I think it's the last great, outstanding uh, ones of the classic era. There, there might be some good ones. I mean, Robin Hood to me was a pretty good one. Uh, Roger Lew, uh, Roger Lewis, Roger uh, Miller was uh, doing the music for that, and uh, I think he was high most of the time, <laughs> which makes it pretty funny. Uh, let's see, because he got if you look at Roger Miller and some of his performances. Whoa, uh, let's listen. Let's let's really bring things down here to. Uh, 
bring you down a little bit here. This is a candle gravity with a, a song called A Suicide. I think.
Well, I'm a stand at my hard rod, glaring in the backyard sun. It looks like she cooks, but the work is never quite done. Okay, that was John Barber and the Living Dead's Hot Broad, and before that we heard Candle Gravity, A Suicide. Uh, here's an, another commercial for you. Um, this is an advertisement here for the uh, Willie and the Hand Factory t-shirts, available now at... Um, Label state, L A B E L S T A T E, labelstate.com. It's a company in Australia, and these shirts are $35 uh, postage paid. Look how cool this is. Um, I think you can get that t-shirt in basic black and basic white. I'm not sure. Uh, you have to go to labelstate.com and order it. It's $35. It's shipped. Because it's shipped all the way from Australia. So uh, that's why it's a little bit pricey. It's the only place in the world we can find where they, they let us put up uh, free, you know, have, have a free website. Uh, to put the shirts up, and uh, I really haven't pushed them because they're they're so dang expensive. But I think they're a quality item, and uh, I might be ordering me one one day. Uh, I didn't even get one. So anyway, um, let's see. We're doing uh, shit, shit record covers. We've already done heart transplant, and we've done uh, Keely Lewis Prima and Keely Smith. 
Uh, let's see. What else can we find out here? Uh, how about this guy? From Ruska. I mean, the girl's pretty good looking to me, but she's probably about 80 years old now, I guess. Uh, and this guy here. Uh, it's Ruski Party with Mitt Ivan Rebroff. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, yeah, I'll, uh, and it tells you how to make a vodka cocktail. Oh, this is in German. It's all in German. It's all in the German language here. Uh, let's see. Filet steak. Oh, they got recipes on the back. Cool. Recipes on the back. Filet stroganoff. How to make borscht. Borscht. How do you say that? Russian salad. Uh, Levadia li salad. And uh, Russian tea. But it's all in German. So let's see. Uh, my German is not real good. So the uh, Borsk, for Borsk you need 250 grams of uh, Rotbete on the Fleischbeten Wasser. I have no idea what that means. Uh, yeah, do something for 30 minutes and then stick it up your ass. <laughs> stick it up your ass for another 10 minutes or some shit. I don't know. But anyway, one day we'll play we'll play something off here. We'll play uh Zig Zigansky Kasakachokbop or Kakalina or some of these other t tunes off of uh the Russian party with uh Ivan Ribrov. He's a party animal there, that Ivan. You better look out, girls. He's uh, Ivan known as Ivan the Terrible. Uh so, we've had, uh, that. that's another part of our new show is the um, shit record covers. And uh, we should do shit art too, I think. But anyway, here's a song. Here's my new song out. It's called I'm Going to Kentucky. And uh, I hope you like it. Flowers on the hillside bloom. I'm going to Kentucky in the springtime. I hope to see you soon. I dreamed of you the other night. Tried to kiss you, but you turned away. You whispered softly in my ear. Couldn't hear what you had to say. I'm going to Kentucky in the springtime. When the heather slips blue I'm going to Kentucky in the spring I hope to see you soon Your children have grown and scattered in the wind Got babies all of their own Growing short here on earth. They'll see you in a heavenly home. I'm going to Kentucky in the springtime when the heather and the ice lips blue. I'm going to Kentucky. Kentucky in the springtime When the heather and the ice lips bloom Visit my grave on a lonesome hill I hope to see you soon